Well, uh, I think I'm going to do a video regarding uh, the Dillian White situation. I put it to bed because I've had that many emails this morning. Uh, it's done my head in, so I'm going to do that. Alright, two seconds. plant pot that's done this mailbox to my mailbox and then sent me a email uh, you an arsehole the gentleman that's done it in a plant pot all right total plant pot plant total plant pot uh, what sort of person breaks into somebody's mailbox and then sends an email bragging about it leaving an IP address IPP address luckily I'm not expecting all this more important but no secret a few people know where office is good luck to you but like I said there's talkers and there's cheese and onion walkers so stop talking rubbish now come see me. All right. Uh -huh. Let's get focused on it. So other than that, I'm all right. Uh, know everybody's had a good week. Uh, it's uh, cold today, isn't it? Very cold. Very, 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 very cold. Right. That should do it. Right. Jotting a few things down yesterday. Uh, Jotting a few things down yesterday and this is how I look at it. Right, I'm just gonna I'm, gonna I'm just gonna go on about a few facts here. Right, because people can say, oh porky or rush, you're turning into a you're turning into bitter and hate and a hater. And I'm not a hater. I do have a bit of a gripe with people that come on they come on and they tell fans one thing and then we've got the propaganda from IFL who are just pushing everything match you know I mean IFL they've got somebody who goes around now with Eddie Hearn every single day I mean he's got an IFL reporter with him every day what was all that about a year in the life of Eddie Hearn because that's what it looks like to me uh, I just think it's I just think it's a lot of bull S-H S-H-I-T it's just bull, utter bull and if you say anything like me you're a hater, you're bitter, you're jealous threatening emails, cars damaged, fly to mailbox brought into blow, it's no secret where I am come Come see me if you've got a problem. Come and press buzzer, I'll come downstairs. Can I get at it? Or I'll make you a cup of tea, I'm not really bothered. But there's talkers and there's prom cocktail walkers, isn't there? The damage it mailbox, it ain't gonna spoil it here. These these people are right behind me. <laughs> there's people behind me that you people can only dream about, you haters. So crack on, keep doing it. It's just more inconvenient, isn't it really? You know, 40 quid for a new mailbox and stuff like that. You know, we might as well have doors and stuff and just post it through, aren't we? Eh? Been damaged a mailbox and bragging about it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, gripe over. Right. 
We're going to back up now to 2018. Orters, Dillian White were offered Orters. End of 2018, he were offered Orters. Offered, been offered Brazil. He's, he's been offered Pulev to get to Joshua. He's even been offered the Joshua fight. Now Pulev's got Joshua next. Dillian White's already not that back. He's not Pulev in Bulgaria back. For what? Now he's, he's flipping a coin between Ruiz and Povetkin. This is what we're hearing. Now will he swerve both and wait for Joshua? I think Ruiz is an hard fight for Dillian White. I think Povetkin's an hard fight as well, but I think he can come from both. Now, who's running Dillian White's career? Who's running it? Who's running it? Why is he not suing WBC? Why is he having digs about Eddie Earn all the time saying Eddie's got some up his sleeve, he's not disclosing it and all that. This has been going on for ages now, you know, three or four years. If you're not happy with Eddie Earn, hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. What what money you've had now, consider it consider it severance pay. Take the train. Get out of Dodge if you're not happy. You know, if you're not happy with your promoter, you got you get gone, don't you? You get out of dodge. You don't keep spinning this narrative and why aren't IFL and all these other media outlets pointing out these? I mean, Ortiz twice, Brazil. Pool, if you're not Joshua back fight back at Wembley. It's unbelievable. I mean, is the rumour true he went to see Sam Watson and Al Eamon? <laughs> If that's true, why did he go see him if you had no point in leaving Eddie Hearn? What is he, a double agent? I don't know. What's going on? I don't want to hear about people email, emailing me, telling me that Dillian White's poorly done to her and it's a disgrace. The only people that are saying it are a disgrace are IFL and Sky Sports, the biggest two platforms in the country for boxing. They're the biggest two platforms. I've been banging on about it for ages, but... Nobody in the boxing industry dare stay out because you've got Dillian White walking about, being menacing at all these press conferences. You've got his big mate, brother, pal, whatever, fanboy in tow, aren't you, Dean White? They're both walking about, the big six foot five, six foot eight lumps, 20 stone or 19 stone, 22, 23 stone lump. The big lads, aren't they? They wrap you like a pretzel. Nobody's going to say anything. No little YouTuber who's just making his way in boxing is going to say anything, are they? Could you imagine me at them press conferences with first question? I'm going to be unreal, would not I? I'd just point all this stuff out. What are they going to do? Beat me up for asking questions? I want to know why. Ortiz, twice, Brazil, Pula, Joshua rematch. So I'm going to show you a few things now. Now, no doubt, like I've just said, it'll all be played out now on IFL. I mean, we've got Coogan now doing interviews with these YouTubers going on about, well, it's a continuation of the story and all this. What are we in a pantomime? Talking to these YouTubers and... If they're not talking to these YouTubers about continuation of scripts, they're talking to Eddie Hearn about... I'm filming, I'll speak to you in a bit. Now, continuation of scripts. Or somebody just said me some at an interview with that. They're talking about scripts and continuation of the story between Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and all these YouTubers. What on earth is going on? Then we've got Eddie Hearn, they've wheeled out Eddie Hearn, he's going on about shorts. In shorts and pool parties, what's that got to do with boxing? And then they couldn't help themselves, could they? They run out of things to say and they're talking about poor old basketball player that died and his daughter and some other people. And 
What's that got to do with boxing? But nobody dares say anything is it because it's a death and all this. It's no to do with Eddie and anything like that. It's American that. It's no to do with us English. We're British in Eng boxing, aren't we? I know it may seem harsh here, but there's no... How low are these people going to go for views? It's starting to cheese me off, but nobody dares say a word, dare they? Nobody dares say a word. Oh, you're a hater, you're bitter, you're jealous. I don't want to hear about stuff like that. It's depressing as it is. We've all seen it on the news and that. But why do these people have to talk about it? They're not news outlets. They're boxing outlets. But Eddie Hearn, well, he's coming out with... I mean, he's not even got me talking about it. Now he says... Obviously, this basketball player is one of the best ever. And they're going on about it. He didn't know him, but he feels like he knows him. And all that. What am I hearing here? What am I hearing here? What? It's, what it is now, it's the Eddie Hearn show. It's starting to annoy me. And you know the best thing about it is? We've got people, people in boxing industry, managers, trainers, promoters, fighters. They all agree with me. But they all want to get to the pot of gold, don't they? So, it's like I said. I said, you're going to have to start bringing things up yourself. It's no good asking me to bring things up. So I'm the one that gets all the all the earache. I'm the one that gets the frets. It's a good job on thick skin, isn't it? You know, if you can be, if you can go through what I've been through in my life from a 16-year-old, right? This is pie in the sky, isn't it? This is this is this is a this is a luxury. You know what I mean? But people need to go out and say things themselves. Luda Bella's coming out and saying things in it now about. IFL now, are now the in-house fucking following him about, aren't they? Fly on the wall documentary stuff, innit? I mean, Eddie Hearn now going to the toilet. Eddie, what toilet roll did you use? What toilet did you use? Where did you go? What did you have for dinner? How, how did you feel? Do you feel better than I being in the toilet, Eddie? What next? Don't let the boxer become bigger than the promoter. That's Eddie Hearn. been going on far too long this but I want to see people being neutral in this YouTube game that's what I want to see for example right White Dillian White says Otis has got no profile he's an old man he's well let me tell you this he's an old man and all that he's the same age as Alexander Povetkin so Otis is the same age as Alexander Povetkin so let me tell you a little, little, about, little bit about Povetkin shall I Dillian White's looking to fight Povetkin, alright? Povetkin won an Olympic gold, so he got Olympic gold, and he won a version of the heavyweight title, the WBA regular belt. So, Olympic gold, heavyweight belt, and he got, how many defeats has he got? A couple of defeats and a draw. Right, he's been in with Vladimir, he's been in with Joshua, he drew against Hunter. Ortiz, 31 and 2, so he's got a similar record. He's been to Olympics, Lewis Orton, but he didn't get a medal. But he's been to Olympics, and he's not won a world title, but he had a WBA interim. Now, now when Eddie Hearn, right, so Orton has no Olympic medal, no title, but yet he's swerved by them all from Tyson Fury when he were with Peter and, May and AJ. So Tyson didn't want to fight him. When Matchroom signed Ortiz, who at the time was the WBA interim champion now. When Lewis Ortiz was the WBA interim champion. Why didn't Eddie Hearn, when he signed him, move him up to regular champion? Why not? Why didn't he do that? He did with Scott Quigg. Because he signed Lewis Ortiz to keep him away from AJ and to keep him away from White. But we'll push Dave Allen out to him. Poor old Dave Allen from Doncaster, eh? We'll push Dave Allen out. Dave Allen's tongue were like that. He got smashed to bits, peeing blood for a month. Poor old Dave Allen. Now, at the time, the WBA interim champion was Ortiz, but yet Ern stuck him on the undercard with Dave Allen, the white rhino, and earlier stuck him out on a Monaco card with Malik Scott. Before the White Rhino showdown, before before he fought Dave Allen, then he stuck him out there with Malik Scott. That was in 2016, when he was 36 years of age. Then, 
36. He's had his birth certificate. We've seen, we've all seen his birth certificate online. He's 40 year old now. Dillian White's looking at fighting a 40 year old. But why didn't Eddie Hearn upgrade Otis from interim champion to regular champion? Because he did Scott Quigg and he's done it to a few others. Was Otis signed to stay away from AJ White? Yeah, I think he was, but they fed Dave Allen to him. But why, do, but Dillian White, yeah, he does deserve a title shot, but don't tell me you're a victim, Dillian, and that the WBC are taking liberties. It's part of the game, this, isn't it? Look, it's part of the game, isn't it? Right? All this is part of the game, this, this trying to get to a world title. Dillian White were offered over five million quid to fight Joshua at Wembley. Knocked it back! Knocked it back! Don't tell me that you, don't tell me about world title shots. Oh, uh, Wilder's got one belt, you're trying to get to Wilder, yeah, with WBC. Joshua had four belts and you knocked it back. You've knocked eliminators and final eliminators back. You knocked a final eliminator back with Brazil. They offered you a, a, an eliminator with Otis, then a final one, you knocked that back, then you were knocked one back with Brazil. Brazil took his chance, didn't he? He jumped in. He took his chance and got there and fought. So he, so that's how you have to do it. If you've got to have one more fight, so what? What did Tyson Fury have? Two or three uh, eliminators or two, two, one eliminator, two eliminators, one final eliminator. Tyson had to do it to get to Vladimir. Don't tell. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear all this uh, badly done to and all that. You're not badly done. To. Dillian White's not badly done to. He's picking up pay per view money. Well, I'm going to finish off listening to this. I'll end up having an heart attack with this boxing, me, won't I? Now, you knock Joshua back four belts. Don't play the victim. No. Now, 30th of July. Let's, go, let's back up a little bit, shall we? You might not want to do but let's just put it in reverse. Let's reverse up to 30th of July 2016. Dave Allen's 9-0 with a draw. Now, when he left us, he was 6-0 with a draw because he turned pro with us. It was Dennis who gave him White Rhino name. Ask Dave on Twitter, he'll tell you. Then at the end of the year, Dave Allen for Ortiz, right? With no WBA interim belt on the line. Now Dave Allen's technically getting in with the WBA interim champion. In some divisions, it'd be classed as regular champion, but Dave Allen's getting in with the WBA interim world champion boxer, Lewis Ortiz, but the WBA wouldn't sanction it. Right, because obviously there's fees and all that as well. Well, they wouldn't sanction the fight. So take the belt out of the equation. Dave Allen, 9-0 and in a draw. He's fighting Luis Ortiz, the WBA interim champion, who really Eddie should have upgraded to world champion or regular status, right? But it would have been if White versus Ortiz was on Sky. Now, if Dillian White had a four Ortiz, right, then, instead of Dave Allen, would that have been passed? Of course it would! Dillian White against Ortiz would have been passed for the WBA interim. Now, don't forget, Joshua, this is nine months before Vladimir Klitschko and Joshua fought for the full belt. Now they managed to make the full belt on the line, didn't they? Want the, didn't the WBA and the IBO drop in? Didn't Joshua have the, what belt did he have? He had the IBF and they put the WBA in the, and the IBO. The only one he didn't have were Parkers, wasn't it? Because he had the IBF. So this is nine months before, right? So everybody missed this, haven't they? So what we had, but instead, right, I'm going to speak down, what I've wrote. Right, the 30th of July 2016, Dave, uh, Louis Ortiz fought Dave Allen. 
then at the end of the year, Dave Allen fought, sorry, 30th of July, Dillian White fought Dave Allen. Then end of the year, Dave Allen fought Otters with no belt on the line. But if it had been White versus Otters on Sky Sports, the belt would have been on the line. But instead, at the end of the year, we had AJ versus Molina. Eric Molina, who lasted three and a half minutes. Eric Molina, who got knocked out in the second round. On the undercard, we had Dillian White against Del Boy Chisora in a life and death. Right? I thought Dillian shaded it, but people said Chisora did. And, on, and underneath that, we had Ortiz against Dave Allen. So you've got Joshua, Molina, White, Chisora, and Ortiz Allen. It should have really been Joshua, Ortiz, or White, Ortiz. Shouldn't it, really? Because Del Boy were finished then, wasn't he? No. But instead we had Dave Allen there in probably the best fight. The hardest fight out of all of them. Dave Allen had a mountain to climb in that fight. White Chisora were a 50-50, you could say. Joshua against Molina. Joshua blew him away and, it, and we all knew that was going to happen. But Dave Allen had a mountain to climb. So he was the only one really with any balls that night, wasn't he? When really, like I've just said that. So, but let's have a look at Ortiz as four. Jennings, Thompson, Scott, Kaufman, Hamer and Wilder twice. But yeah, out of all them people, out of everybody that Lewis Ortiz has fought, and all the promoters that he's had, do you know he's only fought one match and fighter, and that was Dave Allen. Dave Allen. And he's not classed as top elite, is he, at Matchroom, like Dillian White and the other one. So, you know, Joshua. David Price has not even been in with Ortiz, has he? He don't mention his name. Neither did Tony Bellew, did he? I don't see Usyk mentioning him as well. Olympian Southpaw from Cuba, 40-year-old with experience. Past his best now, but we're talking four years ago, aren't we, when he worked past his best, when he should have been upgraded to world champion. So let me tell you this. He's been avoiding him, Otis. Dillian White and Joshua have avoided him. They did not mention the man's name. But they'll mention Povetkin's because he's an easier fight than Ortiz. Povetkin doesn't even want to fight Ortiz. Let me tell you, British top ten at the moment. Joshua White, Chisora, both Furies, Joyce Price, Dubar Gorman, Dave Allen. That's your top ten in Britain. There's only one man, one man out of them top ten in Britain that's fought Lewis Ortiz. And you know who that is? Eh? Dave Allen. The other nine have been nowhere near him. Not Tyson, not Ue, none of them. They've been nowhere near. Lewis Otis, the most avoided man in boxing. Big punching Southpaw, 75% KO ratio Southpaw. Nobody's been near him. Nobody has been near that man yet, nobody. Why is that? And he earned signed him because he's a chess player. He signed him to move the pieces. Vladimir didn't want to go near him, did he? Vladimir didn't want to go near him. People keep saying, oh, Louis Ortiz, Louis Ortiz, don't want to fight nobody. He's a southpaw, big puncher, Olympian. Come on. Get with the program. They don't want to go near him. Does Parker want to go near him? Ask Dave Higgins what he was telling people I know. Parker's manager. Don't want to go near him. Dillian didn't want to go near him. I know for a fact Dillian White didn't want to fight Waters. But nobody's coming out and speaking about this, have they? They even signed him to take his belt off him. Dropping him in with Dave Allen to mess him about. Then Malik Scott and Eddie were saying, ah, oh, I wouldn't Malik Scott first. Either way, Eddie were like, oh, I don't fancy him. They've done the damage, haven't they, once they got rid of him. Once they got rid of interim belt and made him look bad to the public, they did what they had to do. He couldn't speak English, he doesn't sell a ticket. It was a chess move. People get to, need to get with the programme. 
sending me emails saying that Dillian White's badly done to Otis twice, Brazil, Pula. They were all routes to, to Wilder and Joshua. And then to top it all off, Joshua offered him five. Five million plus at Wembley, 90,000 sell out. Why didn't they take that fight at Wembley? They even had it booked. So don't tell me. Do not tell me that Dillian White's avoided. Don't tell me. Gives me the ump. We can't have the ump. So that's about it really. That's about it really. I'm off to see Dennis now. Not seen him for a few, few days. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Shout out to Limitless Innovation Alloys and uh, South Yorkshire Packaging. And shout out to the gentleman who uh, rock into my mailbox. Well done. You know, you're proud of your son. So much to tell your mates about it. Pub that, innit? Yeah. Hey? It's nearly as good as them pretending to be me, innit? You know, you get up in the morning and you say, Do you know what? Today, I'm going to pretend to be Porky from Porky's Corner. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tweet people and pretend that I'm Porky. Brilliant, innit? Brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to do Elmet's video tomorrow now. So, peace out.